Hi, Mum. How's it going? Fine, thanks, honey. How was school? Good. I've got a note for you from Mr. Oliveira. Who's Mr. Oliveira? Your Portuguese teacher? I don't study Portuguese, Mum. You know that. True. <laughs> but you could. It's a very useful language. They speak it in Brazil. Mum, he's the new headmaster at college. And he isn't Portuguese or Brazilian. He's British. But I think he said his parents are from Goa. Goa? Wow. The headmaster. Ah, yes, I remember him. I met him at Christmas when I went to your school for that concert. In December, anyway. A very nice man, yes. Mum? It would be good to speak to him about his parents' country. I could interview him, then visit Goa in summer. No, too hot, maybe. In autumn. Well, he'd like to see you again, too. Really? He wants you to go into school on Monday or Tuesday next week. Oh. Have you done something wrong? No, of course not. You know me. He wants to ask if you can give a talk about your work and your blog, your travels, that sort of thing, one day in April, during careers week. So, on Monday or Tuesday? What time? In the afternoon or in the early evening. At five o'clock, if you can. Hmm. I can go at half past four on Tuesday, if that's okay. I'll ask. Let me see. I'm away in Moscow for three days in April, but during your school holidays, I think. I'm going to Russia to write about traditions at Easter. Oh, and then I'm away at the end of the month, but I'm at home for two or three weeks. I can't go on Monday evening because I have a Tai Chi class, and then I have to work at night. I have a video call at midnight. Uh, yes, definitely. I'll go in on Tuesday afternoon. Can you write a note or send him an email, please? I'll phone him during the day tomorrow. I'm free for a few hours in the morning. OK, I'll tell him. Where are you? Here in town. I'm at the travel agents. I'm chatting to your friend Jenna. I hadn't seen her for months. I didn't know she was working here. She's organising my flights to Russia. Do you want to speak to her? No, it's OK. I'll see her at the weekend. We're going to a party on Saturday night. OK. Well, I'll be home in about an hour. At about seven o'clock, probably. Pizza and a DVD tonight? Cool. Yes. Let's get a horror movie. I'll call Oliver. He finishes class in a few minutes. See you later. How's the birthday, boy? Fine. It's awesome. Even the weather is good. So why are you in Switzerland? I thought your mum was taking you to the Italian lakes. When we landed at the airport the day before yesterday, the friend of hers who's looking after us suggested a few days in the mountains here in Switzerland. He's showing us the different regions and teaching us about the food before visiting Como and Milan. He's a brilliant chef, by the way. So, what's your schedule? Well, the plan is four days here in Switzerland, this is the third day, and then four days in Italy. Ah, OK. And is the internet connection good? This is Switzerland, sis. Everything is good. The Swiss seem incredibly organised, and the technology here is first class. The only problem is we'll be moving around a lot, a different place every day. But I'll try to connect from the hotel every evening. Cool. Anyway, tell us stuff. Have you had any birthday presents? Are you having fun? Presents, yes. My sister there hid a little parcel in my suitcase. So when I was unpacking the case, I had a really cool surprise. Have you opened the parcel? What was in it? A special cheese knife. 
I'm glad you didn't put it in the bag I took as hand luggage, Daisy. <laughs> I'm not totally stupid. <laughs> anyway, it's the perfect present for Switzerland. The cheese here is amazing. Oh, and I've learned to make raclette, one of the most popular cheese dishes. We can try it when I get home. You're not bringing cheese home on the plane, are you? The smell will be terrible. No, no, don't worry. <laughs> but I'll bring some chocolate. The chocolate here is the best in the world, or so they say. No watches? The Swiss watch is an amazing piece of engineering. Mm, but the prices are amazing too. <laughs> what else? Oh, the scenery is incredible. The Alps are so dramatic. They're like, like the poster you've got in your room, Daisy. The poster of the Himalayas next to the window. Okay, similar. The highest mountains in Europe are in the Alps. We were near Mont Blanc yesterday. That's the highest in Europe. Oh, and we saw some of the United Nations buildings in Geneva. They're very impressive. And the International Red Cross headquarters is in Geneva too. I really like the building. It's very elegant and different. Not a typical office building at all. So what about Italy? What are you going to see there? Well, we're starting in Como, in the north. I think Mum is hoping to see George Clooney at the bus stop. Oi! He's got a house near Como, and there's a funicular railway. So we'll take the funicular to the top to a restaurant where the views are amazing. And I want to try the ice cream, of course. And then Milan, the Duomo, the cathedral there, the clothes shops, hey Daisy, and Mum wants to take me to see the Last Supper. Oh wow, that's awesome. I know that painting, Da Vinci, really famous. That's the one, and she wants to go to the opera too, the Scala. You're going to the opera? Well, I'd rather go to the football, but hey. And of course, we're going to try the food. The pasta, the pizzas, the meat. I envy you, mate. Hey, do you want to talk to Mum? She's here. Yeah, sure. Hey, it's really good to hear you. I'm glad you're having a fantastic time, and happy birthday. Are you and Alfie going to the festival this weekend? Hmm? Um, we want to, but we don't have a car, so we're not sure how to get there. It's in the middle of nowhere. Amy's dad is taking us on Saturday morning, and he's offered to bring us home again on Sunday. Why not come with us? But where would we sleep? You can't fit five adults and tents in one car. You can in his. It's one of those cars for seven people, so there's plenty of room. Although, we could look for a bed and breakfast in the village near the festival if you'd rather. No, no, brilliant! Camping and concerts, a great combination. Or camping, concerts and cooking. It's a world music festival, but there's also food from all over the world. Chile, Ethiopia, um... Cool. Let's call Alfie and Amy and get organised. Let's see. Here's the programme. The smaller concerts start at 12, but the bigger ones start at 3. What time will we be there? Well... If we leave here at about 10 a.m., we'll be there by 12. Although, we have to put up our tents too, so we could see something at 1 o'clock. But we have to carry the tents from the car and then find a good space, so we'll be later than that. A space near food and toilets, but not too near because it'll be noisy and busy. True. So, carry the tents, find a space, put the tents up... Eat? We'll be hungry by then. Also true. Put the tents up, 
eat. So we'll be ready for concerts at, what, three o'clock? I would think so, yes. Isn't your mum going? World music and food sounds like the perfect festival for her. I know, but she can't go, even though she told me she'd really like to. She's in Vienna. And speaking of mum... Hi, mum. We were just talking about you. All good, I hope. Hi, Sophie. Daisy was just saying you can't come with us all to the festival this weekend. No. I'm here in Austria until Tuesday. It's the land of chocolate cake, the waltz and Mozart, so I'm OK for food, dance and music. And I'm having a wonderful time. But you can take photos for me, can't you? In fact, would you like to be guest bloggers and write a post? Oh, yes! That would be so cool! Great idea, Mum. So, my two, how are things? Oh, yeah, really wow! Good. Writing a post for Sophie's blog. Thousands of people read her blog. I know. And we can interview people and try lots of different food from different places. And if we organise ourselves, we can see as many concerts as possible. I'd like to see that Irish band because Celtic music is pretty cool. There's a Portuguese singer I'd like to see. You know, maybe you and I could hang out together and write about the music. And Oliver and Daisy could write about the food. Um, yes, maybe. Although, maybe we should see what they want to do too. Uh, yes. Yes, we should. But it's a possibility. OK. okay. Bye, Bye, Mum. Mum. Love, Love you. you. Bring us some cake. OK, you two. We were looking at the programme. Concerts. Hey, at three o'clock there's a great looking reggae band from Jamaica or a Russian electro-pop group on the other stage. I, I fancy, fancy the, the Russian, Russian gig. gig. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> How about you two go to the reggae? Fine by me. Mm. It's so nice to be chilling out at home after all that running around. Oh yeah, travelling to glamorous places for a living must be such a drag. Mum, you can be so childish sometimes. Hey, I wonder how Daisy's getting on in her job interview. Oh yes, she said she was having it at four o'clock, so it'll have finished by now. That'll be her, yes. Hi, love. How did it go? Well, good, I think, but I don't really know. They said they'd phone later and let me know. What kind of thing did they ask you? They asked if I had any experience with people, so I told them about helping at the school fair and visiting old people at the home, that sort of stuff. But I think they meant work experience. I'm sure what you said was impressive. They can't expect you to have had much work experience at your age. And then they asked me what acting I had done. So I told them that I'd had a main part in the school play. And I showed them a bit of the video, so that was cool. Great. Oh, and they also asked if I spoke any foreign languages. Languages? Yeah, because I might have to talk to tourists, you know. Oh, right, of course. So that was it, really. They showed me the costume I'll be wearing if I get the job. Sending it over. <laughs> hey, sis. I heard that Brad Pitt started out as a giant chicken, too. This could be your big break. Ha ha, very funny. Take no notice, darling. I'm sure you'll be a marvellous chicken. <laughs>
This is so good. I... Oh, that might be Mum phoning from Bali. I'll put her on speaker. Hi, Mum. Hi, Mum. Oh, you're both there. Good. Hi. How are you doing? We're fine. Just having some pizza. And you? Really good. I'm about to eat too. I've just been walking around this amazing market and it's made me hungry. I'm going to order a big bowl of spicy noodles. Don't make us jealous, Mum. You're always doing that. Sorry, love. I was thinking about you just now, actually. And I've got a little quiz prepared for you. A quiz? Yeah. Can you both see the phone? I'm going to send you some photos of Indonesian food. Tell me what the food is. OK, fire away. Right. Picture number one. Oh, that looks a bit like pasta. Burnt pasta. But it isn't, is it? No, that's a kind of insect. A kind of worm? Yes, very good. One point to Ollie. But that was an easy one. Next. They're weird. They might be some kind of small pig. Oh, I don't know. Are they little dogs? Ah, they're actually a lot smaller than that. They're bats. Bats? Yeah, without wings. Well, I haven't seen anyone eating them, but someone must do. OK, next. That looks like tomato juice, but it can't be. That would be too easy. It could be some kind of exotic fruit juice, like papaya or mango. Nowhere near. I'll give you a clue. It isn't made from fruit or vegetables. So it must come from an animal. I know. It's blood. Yes, half a point to Daisy. Another half a point for the animal. A fish? A snake? A crocodile? Yep. A snake. It's cobra blood. Very good for the health, they say. Yuck. You've put me right off my pizza. Hey, Days, you remember that Mum was talking about putting videos up on her blog? Yeah. Well, she's got the first one up. It looks pretty cool. Oh, right. Where is she at the moment? Peru, isn't it? I think she's in Bolivia now. But the video's from yesterday, when she was on the Peruvian side of Lake Titicaca. OK, let's have a look. Hi, everyone. Today I'm visiting the floating Euros Islands on Lake Titicaca. The people who live here have had the same kind of lifestyle for hundreds of years. The amazing thing about these islands is that they are man-made and made out of plants. The islanders pick the tall reeds that grow at the sides of the lake and use them to make the islands. Every three months they have to put down new reeds. If they didn't, the islands would sink into the lake. Oh, yeah, and as I said, the islands float, so they have to be anchored to the bottom of the lake with rope, like a boat. Hey, it's really good. The islands are kind of bouncy to walk on, but they're pretty strong. The Euros people make fires, which they use for cooking. OK, there's a house made of reeds. But that grey thing, which you can see on the roof there, isn't very traditional. That's a solar panel. Technology gets to every corner of the world nowadays. Hmm. It's a bit like a geography lesson, but it's interesting. Yeah, I think it's great. OK, let's write a nice comment and like it.
Shall we look for somewhere to get coffee and some cake? All right. I'm not very hungry, but I'd love something to drink. Where do you fancy going? Anywhere you like. Well, how about this place? Oh, there's nobody else here. Where is everyone? Oh, well, it's all for us. Hi. Hi. What can I get you? I'd like a cappuccino, please. And have you got any cake? Oh, yes, we do. We've got some amazing chocolate cake and some carrot cake. That's my personal favourite. And there's a lemon and ginger cake and... No, no, I'll have some carrot cake. I haven't had any for ages and I love it. A great choice. And can I get you anything? Yes, I'd like some green tea with mango, please. Oh, that sounds good. Anything else? Do you have any cookies? I'm sorry, there are none left. OK, nothing else then. Just the tea. So, one green tea with mango, one cappuccino and some carrot cake. A large piece and two forks. So, how's it all going? New town, new school, new people? Well, I haven't really made any friends yet, apart from you. But I'm OK. I just need some time to adapt. Yeah, of course. And the teachers all seem nice. There's no one really boring or unfriendly. No, school's OK. The headmaster's new, Mr Oliveira. I don't think anyone really knows him yet, but he seems fine. Yeah, someone told me he's almost 50. Can you believe it? No way! He looks like somebody in that film about the millionaire. Um... Hey, look! That's my brother over there. Oliver? Ollie! Come and meet Amy. Hi, girls. What are you up to? <laughs> Nothing. Just chatting and having some cake. Mmm. Have some. It's delicious. It looks tasty. I might get some. Hi, I'm Oliver. Daisy's brother. Hi, I'm Amy. Amy. Cool. Excuse me, have you got any chocolate cake at all? Yes, we got three different kinds, all homemade. There's chocolate biscuit cake, white chocolate cake and chocolate and orange cake. Any will do. Surprise me. And a glass of water, please. Thanks. So, Amy. Where are you from? Anywhere exotic and exciting, like the places our mother visits? Singapore? I'm from Cambridge. Cambridge, England. Ah, right. Cambridge. <laughs> That's somewhere Mum hasn't been. It's too near home. Thanks. Ignore him. He's just jealous. Our mum travels a lot. Huh, me? Jealous? Who needs travel when you have cake? <laughs> <laughs> so, Amy, Daisy told me you're new, right? Welcome to our town. You'll like it here. Nice people, good cake. Now tell me about yourself. Ollie, it's not a job interview. So anyway, there's Mr Oliveira and... Oh, and Miss Pinkerton is cool. Everyone likes her. She teaches maths. And she can tell you everything about, well, about anything. And then there's... What's up, Polly? Mm hmm. Oh, uh, nothing. Oh, come on. Something's wrong. No, seriously. Don't tell me. You've invited Amy to go to your class dinner, but she decided to go with Elliot instead. Well, you like cooking, so lunch isn't the problem. I know. You want to wear your favourite t shirt, but it's got tomato on it? No. Well,. Yes, that too. I don't know how to clean it, but no, that's not the real problem. It's...
Well, it's Mum. Have you had an argument? When did she phone? Oh, I hate missing her calls. She hasn't called yet. Don't worry. So what's up? Come on, just tell us. I don't like seeing you like this, Ollie. <sighs> well, she's in Italy, and she promised to take me there. I was looking forward to going. I planned to go to some real Italian restaurants to, you know, have some real Italian food so I could try to make some at home. And I wanted to visit Rome, and Venice, and Florence, and Siena, and, well. She hasn't even remembered to phone, or to send an email, or anything. No, but she will. You know she's always so busy. She never stops working. Or maybe she's had a problem. But it'll be cool. She'll phone. Do you know what you need? You need to have some fun. We can pretend to be in Italy. Pretend to be there. Yes. Let's do it. You wanted to practice cooking Italian food, didn't you? So, here's a cookbook. We just need to choose a dish, and then we need to buy ingredients. You cook, Oliver, and I know how to make great tiramisu. Daisy, you can get some Italian music. We can eat in the garden, like at a pavement cafe. Alfie, you're mad. <laughs> You're wonderful and mad, and I love doing mad things. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi Mum. Mom. Hi, Sophie. How's Italy? Oh, it didn't stop raining all day yesterday, and today it's foggy. It's impossible. I can't see anything or go anywhere. I'll have to come back next month. Oh, and Ollie, would you like to come too then? Gennaro Falcone, the famous restaurant owner, has offered to teach you some of his most popular recipes. I told him you really enjoy cooking. I'd love to go, Mum. Thanks. So, what are you doing? It looks interesting. Shall we look for somewhere to get coffee and some cake? All right. I'm not very hungry, but I'd love something to drink. Where do you fancy going? Anywhere you like. Well, how about this place? Oh, there's nobody else here. Where is everyone? Oh, well, it's all for us. Hi. Hi. What can I get you? I'd like a cappuccino, please. And have you got any cake? Oh, yes, we do. We've got some amazing chocolate cake and some carrot cake. That's my personal favourite. And there's a lemon and ginger cake and... No, no, I'll have some carrot cake. I haven't had any for ages and I love it. A great choice. And can I get you anything? Yes, I'd like some green tea with mango, please. Oh, that sounds good. Anything else? Do you have any cookies? I'm sorry, there are none left. OK, nothing else then. Just the tea. So, one green tea with mango, one cappuccino and some carrot cake. A large piece and two forks. So, how's it all going? New town, new school, new people? Well, I haven't really made any friends yet, apart from you. But I'm OK. I just need some time to adapt. Yeah, of course. And the teachers all seem nice. There's no one really boring or unfriendly. No, school's OK. The headmaster's new, Mr Oliveira. I don't think anyone really knows him yet, but he seems fine. Yeah, someone told me he's almost 50. Can you believe it? No way! He looks like somebody in that film about the millionaire. Um, 
Hey, look! That's my brother over there. Oliver! Ollie! Come and meet Amy. Hi, girls. What are you up to? <laughs> Nothing. Just chatting and having some cake. Mmm. Have some. It's delicious. It looks tasty. I might get some. Hi. I'm Oliver, Daisy's brother. Hi. I'm Amy. Amy. Cool. Excuse me. Have you got any chocolate cake at all? Yes. We got three different kinds. All homemade. There's chocolate biscuit cake, white chocolate cake, and chocolate and orange cake. Any will do. Surprise me. And a glass of water, please. Thanks. So, Amy, where are you from? Anywhere exotic and exciting, like the places our mother visits. Singapore? I'm from Cambridge. Cambridge, England. Ah, right. Cambridge. <laughs> That's somewhere Mum hasn't been. It's too near home. Thanks. Ignore him. He's just jealous. Our mum travels a lot. Huh. Me? Jealous? Who needs travel when you have cake? <laughs> <laughs> so, Amy, Daisy told me you're new, right? Welcome to our town. You'll like it here. Nice people, good cake. Now tell me about yourself. Ollie, it's not a job interview. So anyway, there's Mr. Oliveira and... Oh, and Miss Pinkerton is cool. Everyone likes her. She teaches maths and she can tell you everything about... Well, about anything. And then there's... What's up, Polly? Mm hmm. Oh, uh, nothing. Oh, come on. Something's wrong. No, seriously. Don't tell me. You've invited Amy to go to your class dinner, but she decided to go with Elliot instead. Well, you like cooking, so lunch isn't the problem. I know. You want to wear your favourite T-shirt, but it's got tomato on it? No. Well. Yes, that too. I don't know how to clean it, but no, that's not the real problem. It's, well, it's Mum. Have you had an argument? When did she phone? Oh, I hate missing her calls. She hasn't called yet, don't worry. So what's up? Come on, just tell us. I don't like seeing you like this, Ollie. <sighs> Well, she's in Italy. And she promised to take me there. I was looking forward to going. I planned to go to some real Italian restaurants to, you know, have some real Italian food so I could try to make some at home. And I wanted to visit Rome and Venice and Florence and Siena and... Well, she hasn't even remembered to phone or to send an email. Or anything. No, but she will. You know she's always so busy. She never stops working. Or maybe she's had a problem. But it'll be cool. She'll phone. Do you know what you need? You need to have some fun. We can pretend to be in Italy. Pretend to be there? Yes. Let's do it. You wanted to practice cooking Italian food, didn't you? So, here's a cookbook. We just need to choose a dish and then we need to buy ingredients. You cook, Oliver, and I know how to make great tiramisu. Daisy, you can get some Italian music. We can eat in the garden, like at a pavement cafe. Alfie, you're mad. <laughs> you're wonderful and mad and I love doing mad things. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi Mum. Hi, Sophie. How's Italy? 
Oh, it didn't stop raining all day yesterday, and today it's foggy. It's impossible. I can't see anything or go anywhere. I'll have to come back next month. Oh, and Ollie, would you like to come too, then? Gennaro Falcone, the famous restaurant owner, has offered to teach you some of his most popular recipes. I told him you really enjoy cooking. I'd love to go, Mum. Thanks. So, what are you doing? It looks interesting. Hi, I'm home. Hi there. I didn't know you were out. I thought you were still in bed. What have you got that bag for? Where have you been? I've been swimming. This is the new me. No more lying in bed on Sunday mornings. I want to get fit again. It's been a long, lazy summer. Oh yeah. What's all that about? Or rather, who have you met? <laughs> no one. I went with a new girl in my class, Amy. She's cool. Anyway, what about you? Why are you having breakfast so late? Who were you with last night? Would you like some tea? I went to the cinema with Alfie and a couple of others. Then we went for a curry in town. It was cool. That sounds like a good night. What did you see? Dale wanted to see that new sci-fi thriller, the one with um oh, what's his name? Oh, I know the film. What was it like? Not bad. The curry afterwards was better, though. We had a laugh. Speaking of laughs, do you want to see something funny? Go on then. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> what do you think? Does it suit me? What do you look like? <laughs> Can you get it? It's behind you. Um. Ah,、oh, it's Mum. Hi, Mum. How's Africa? Hi, honey. Africa's very well, thank you. How are you? <laughs> You're in Tanzania, aren't you? What's it like? Oh, it's amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm at the coast now, near Dar es Salaam. It's wonderful. And the last few days have been perfect. I've taken so many photos. Yeah. What have you been taking pictures of? Well, I've been to Lake Victoria. Incredible! It's as big as a sea, and the sunrises, oh, with the fishing boats. And I've been to Arusha near Kilimanjaro and Mount Meru. They're both snow-capped volcanoes in the north. Very impressive. And I've spent two days in the Serengeti National Park. Did you see any lions or giraffes? Oh yes. And, and, well, a lot of animals. What an experience! I am so lucky. Did you get many good photos? Stupid question, right? <laughs> yes, hundreds. I'll be home on Monday. Shall we get some pizzas and look at my photos, just the three of us? Yeah, cool. Hey, shall I pass you to Oliver? He's here with me. Okay, thanks, love. <laughs> Hi, Mum. No, I'm fine. It's just no, nothing. How are you? Hey, Alfie. How's things? Cool. Great. You? What are you up to? Me? Nothing much. I'm just sitting here with a coffee and the laptop. Ah. Are you doing that project Doc Taylor gave us? 
An analysis of motivation in... No, I'm reading the newspaper on it. Politics. The world economy. Oh, right. The football results. <laughs> exactly. International relations. But on a football pitch. Anyway, what can I do for you? Well, I've got a new bike. My uncle bought it for me. It's my birthday present. Wow. Did you tell him he's more than six months late? Nah. I'm not complaining. A present's a present, and it's a nice bike. He got me a helmet too, and I've got some cool cycling gloves as well. The man in the shop gave me them free. So why don't you come round with yours, and we can take them for a ride? The gloves? <laughs> the bikes. Take the bikes for a ride. See if Daisy wants to bring hers too. Daisy's out with that new friend of hers, Amy. Hang on. Mum's calling. She's in Turkey. Let me talk to her and I'll call you back. OK. Say hi to her from me. Will do. Hi, Mum. Honey, hi. How's Istanbul? I'm loving it. <laughs> but you love everywhere you go. <laughs> True. But seriously, it's great fun. You'd love it. All the different meze at lunch. Oh, the colours. And they bring you lots, and you choose which ones you want. Look, here's a photo. Oh, wow. And I've been to the Blue Mosque. The Hagia Sophia, of course, with my name. Um, the Topkapi Palace? That's what you can see behind me. Oh, and I'm going on a night cruise on the Bosphorus tonight. It's really an amazing city. Modern, but traditional. Full of culture and colour and... So take me there. Or take us. Daisy'd like it too, wouldn't she? She would, yes, I'm sure. And have you been to a Turkish bath yet? Yes, a hammam. I went to one yesterday. I loved it. Now, the taxis here, they drive a bit differently from ours back in Britain. They're a bit scary. Anyway, love, I've got to go. How's Daisy? Give her my love. OK, Mum. Bye. Hi, it's me again. So tell me about this bike of yours. Is it anything like mine? No, no! I can never answer the yellow questions. They're about history or politics or something, I think. I'll have an orange question, please, Mr Anderson. They're about sports, right? They're not always about sports. They're sometimes about food and drink. Not a problem, Mr Anderson. Let's hear it. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, this is so easy. <sighs> How often... Hang on. Back in a second. Hi, how are you doing? Sorry. Who was it? Yeah. Oh, just Daisy and Amy. Yeah, yeah, that's Daisy's good. lost her keys again. Then she yeah. loses them about twice a week, yeah, yeah, honestly. Yeah, look at the I found them in the fridge once. No, Dizzy no. Daisy. <laughs> Who's Amy? The one that moved here a few months ago? Yeah. What's she like? Well, I don't know. Seventeen? Straight black hair? Um, no, nice. Quite serious, I suppose. Yeah. Um, very intelligent. She probably usually wins at this game, though playing with us, that wouldn't be difficult. What was the question? Uh, oh yes. How often is the... Hi guys, Amy. This is Alfie. He's Oliver's best friend. They always hang out together. Not always. Sometimes I'm alone, you know. OK. They... Almost always hang out together. That's better. Uh, Alfie, say hello. Sorry. Yes. Hi. Um, have a seat. Have a seat. We're playing, um, we're, you know, it's much more fun with four players. 
Would you like to... Saved by the bell, hey? Hi, Mum. Oliver? Hey, it's Mum. How's Norway? Have you seen them? Oliver? Amy, do you want to play for me? He always gets the green questions wrong. Ask him green questions. Mum's seen the Northern Lights. Oh, wow! What are they like? Well, they're green, mostly. Apparently, they're usually green, but they're... Oh, they're so difficult to describe. They're magical. Living where we live, you either never see them, or you see them once in a lifetime, if you travel. Oh, we'll have to come to Hammerfest as a family one year. The problem is, you normally see them best in September or March, like now. And you two are always studying at those times. Yeah, they're normally green because of the oxygen. But sometimes you can see red too. That's from nitrogen. Aurora Borealis, the northern lights. Aurora was a Greek goddess and... Sorry... Look at the sky out there. It's beautiful. It's really, really clear tonight. It is, isn't it? It's hardly ever that clear here. There's normally too much light pollution. And of course, it's often cloudy. I love looking at the stars. Astronomy is fascinating. And the stars and constellations often have wonderful names, like... Andromeda. That's a constellation. You learn something new every day. When you're looking at the stars, can you recognise them? Not always, but quite often, yes. Right. Coats on. Astronomy class in the garden in three minutes. After you, Miss Howe. Thank you, Alfred. Um, nobody ever calls me Alfred. I don't like it very much. No. Alfred was a king. It's a king's name. It suits you. Oh, yes. Millions of stars. Wow, it's cold out there. You're home early. Are you all right? Never better. Hey, you couldn't pass me that plate, could you? Please? Thanks. But the heating at college broke down this morning. So when our accountancy lecturer said, Ladies and gentlemen, would you like a free afternoon to study at home? Well, it was an offer we couldn't refuse, really. It was freezing. Well, I see you've been busy. What is it? Can I have a taste? Yes, of course you can. Here. What do you think? Mmm. Wow. That's really good soup there, big brother. What is it? It's a country recipe. I found it in one of Gran's old cookery books. But I've made a lot. Why don't you call Amy? You can ask her around for dinner if you like. There's more than enough. I've made bread, too. Look. You are one amazing brother. I know. Now, go and phone. Amy? Oh, hi, Mrs Howe. Um, could I speak to Amy, please? Thank you. Amy, it's Daisy. Hi, what's up? Would you like to come to our house for dinner? Ah, oh, yes. That would be really cool. Thank you. And could you say thanks to your mum for me? Well, actually, she isn't here. It's Oliver's idea. He's made some wonderful soup and bread. Nice. I could bring something for dessert, if you like. I can make an apple cake. Pardon, mum? Ah, oh, thanks. 
It's Chinese New Year, so we've got some special sweets here. My mother says I can take some to your house, so you can try them. Oh, yes. Chinese New Year? Mum's in Hong Kong this week, writing about the celebrations. She emailed us some photos, but I thought your family's from Cambridge. Do you celebrate Chinese New Year? Yes, of course. Three of my grandparents are from Hong Kong, in fact. Though my mother's father is Scottish. My parents and I are British, but we celebrate as a family. Listen, I'd better go and make that cake, or it'll be too late. Okay. Oh, Mum's calling. See you in an hour. Great. See you. Hi, Mum. Hi. Listen, it's just after midnight here and it's really noisy. Wow, it sounds amazing. It is. Plus, I've recorded some great interviews and got some fantastic photos for the blog. Wow! You couldn't send some photos to Amy too, could you, Mum? Is that okay? Her family's from Hong Kong. I'm sure she'd love to see it. Yes, no problem. But don't give me her email address now. I can't hear anything very well. It's too loud. <laughs> okay. I'll phone you again tomorrow morning, okay? Okay. Love, Love you. you. Love you too. She's having fun. Yes. I miss her. Me too. Amy, is everything okay? Yes, fine. My mother says, would you two like to have dinner with us tomorrow? She says we can celebrate Chinese New Year together. And Dad says we can have special food. He'll make it. And we've got fireworks and, you know, if you like. We'd love to. Amy, hi. What are you doing here? It's my new Saturday job. Hi, Elfie. Really? I... Yes. I want to study veterinary science at university, and my parents suggested I should get some experience of working with animals. And do you like it? It's my first day. Anyway, what can I do for you? Well, I've got some money and I've decided I'd quite like a pet. Daisy and Mum like the idea, but Mum says I mustn't get a spider, a scorpion or a snake. That's understandable. Let's see the dogs. Oh yeah, look at these, mate. Puppies. What's that white one? That's a Dalmatian. But they've got black spots, haven't they? Not when they're puppies, no. You have to wait until they're bigger. Then the spots appear. Ah, I never knew that. Dalmatians are quite big, aren't they? Yes, they are. You should really have a garden. Well, we've got one. And you have to take them out for a walk twice a day. Well, you don't have to go twice, but you must go at least once. Every day. Rain, snow, sun, every day. And you mustn't forget to take two or three small plastic bags when you go out. Plastic bags? Well, when your dog... You know, you shouldn't leave it on the street. You should always clean it up and put it in the bin. Hmm. And a smaller dog? Should I get one of these? They're Yorkshire Terriers. They're very small. And noisy. Get something a bit quieter, Ollie. Think of your neighbours. How about that one? As an adult, Old English Sheepdogs are extremely large. Like that one. 
and you've got to look after their hair regularly. You should brush them as often as possible and get their hair cut. Hmm. What about a cat? We used to have a cat. She was a bit unfriendly. She used to scratch the sofa and our legs, and she stole food if you left it for a moment. You've got to be careful with a cat. Some are nice, but some are, well, oh, a turtle? They're small and quiet, and they don't have hair. They grow, and then you have to buy a bigger tank. You'd better buy a thermostat and a filter if you want a turtle, and you mustn't forget to change the water. They don't smell great. What about a hamster? I don't know what I should do. I mean, I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. I don't mind. <laughs> and if you like him, why not? He has to decide if he wants to go out with the mother of a student, though. But he seems nice. Maybe you should go for a coffee or lunch and see how you feel. If you don't like him, you don't have to see him again. Oh, I shouldn't be asking you about this sort of thing. Oh, but I feel like a teenager. Why do these things have to be so complicated? <laughs> it's not complicated, Mum. You mustn't forget, he's the one who suggested going for a drink. So he obviously likes you, and you obviously like him. What's complicated? I'm in New Zealand. I'm about to go and fly over volcanoes. It's not easy to combine my kind of life with, well, a romance. You'll be home next week, and maybe you should take some time off travelling. Spend some time with us, and with him. And I'll be leaving school in a year, so go on, Mum. Life's too short. You should phone him. Well, I'll think about it. I'd better go. I mustn't miss the helicopter. Is Oliver there? No, he's out buying that pet. Oh no, here he is. Ollie, it's Mum. Hi, Mum. Did you get anything? Yes, I did. And his name's Hannibal.